Hello. How are you? Good, good. What about you? Good, thanks. How are things going? Did you have a good weekend? Everything is fine. Good. My name is Pamela. I am calling from uh, the U.S. Um, U.S. In- sure. Yep. U.S. U.S. Okay. Yep. I'm on the East Coast, uh, just north of Boston. Okay. So it's 11.20 a.m. here. Okay. And it's 8.20 a, uh, PM in India. Oh wow! Nice. What part of India are you in? Uh, uh, New Delhi. Oh wow! Nice. And how are things in New Delhi? Uh, yeah, things are better now. Good. So Good to hear. From last two weeks, you know the situation is quite uh, well now. Yes. It's improving. Good. The That's cases, great. The cases of coronavirus are reducing. So. Mm-hmm. It means the situation is under control. Okay, good to hear. And what about your side? Um, things are going well. I mean, we had the highest rate at one point in the United States of okay. anywhere in the world. But um, the last um, couple months, especially since the new administration took over, uh, the uh, uh, vaccine rollout has gone very well. I think we're sort okay. of slowing down now. Um, okay. We've, we've um, vaccinated the majority of people that want to be vaccinated. So now okay. the task is um, getting people to vaccinate that are somewhat hesitant. So okay. I've been vaccinated. I had two shots uh, over a month ago, so I'm fully vaccinated. My family, my kids, except for my okay. one son. Okay. That's great. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. So things are starting to get a better opening up. Um, okay. So it's good. Okay. So uh, uh, basically, I want to do a journal discussion. Okay. So uh, basically, I want you to ask me a questions, whatever you want to ask, so that you sure. know uh, I can uh, communicate more and more. I can speak more and more. Absolutely. Okay. 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 First off, and uh, I- uh, sorry, uh, one more request. Mm-hmm. Just uh, correct me, you know, wherever I go wrong. So okay. Please. I will. Okay. Okay. First of all, how do you pronounce your name properly? I don't. I don't want to mispronounce. Okay, it's Machinder. 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 Yeah. Okay. Great. And Machinder, why are you learning English? Is it for personal development or business or a little of both? Uh, it's for the personal development, and uh, mm-hmm. the second thing is that you know I am working in a corporate sector, uh, in a, especially in a MNC company, and you know it's a global language, so it right. is now mandatory to learn this language, not only to learn the language but to be a very fluent in this language. So mm-hmm. if you want to interact with the people uh, outside your country, then you have to you know uh, learn this language and you have to get a command over this language. Right. So that is why. Okay, very good. And you've been on Cambly since the beginning of the year. How long have you studied English? Uh, I think from last two to three months. But yeah, mm-hmm. we have Hindi in uh, Hindi is our native language. Okay. Right. So you know we most of the time talk in Hindi. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, from last I think two to three years, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. I start. I thought that you know I should work on this language, but right. you know due to office work and the other things in mm-hmm. life, right. you know I hardly get the time. A but lot of distractions. Then, yes, and then uh, finally I have decided that if I want to learn, if I want to be a very fluent, I have to you know ignore all the excuses and mm-hmm. start working on it. So right. finally I decided to work on it. So that is why. I'm okay. Here. So what is your commitment weekly? Do you uh, practice every day, a couple times a week? Uh, your... No, on the alternative day. Okay, good. Um, and other than Cambly, what else are you utilizing to pr- practice your uh, conversation skills, fluency skills? Okay, so basically I learn the vocabulary. So and uh, I watch the YouTube videos, uh, and uh, I you know practice grammar. I mm-hmm. watch you know uh, short clips mm-hmm. in English, like some prank or whatever I like. Yeah. Means that yeah. you know which which I find uh, you know find uh, comfortable or which I find very easy. 
Yes. Yes. In this, in this age of uh, technology, there's so many different tools and platforms that you can utilize for um, English practice. So it's great. TikTok videos, YouTube. Right, Netflix. right. Netflix. Um, I always recommend to students, yeah, just find a show that you enjoy, a topic that you enjoy, and just search right. videos for it. So great. Right. So what, what do you do for work? What is your job? Uh, so basically, you know, I work in a uh, corporate sector. So I, mm -hmm. uh, I am a fi finance guy. So oh, I okay. do the accounts and finance job. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from that, you know, I work on YouTube, so I have a YouTube channel and oh, wow. uh, I teach their Microsoft Excel and uh, English, you know, nice. Uh, and uh, so uh, and basically I just want to take your permission if I can upload this video so that the people who want to gain something from this video, they can. So it's okay. just uh, OK. Sure. OK. Great. Um, and you've been doing that for how long? Uh, I am doing that from last two months. Mm -hmm. So I just started a, a YouTube channel. So I started Great. uploading the video. So Great. I have uploaded five to six video till now. Mm -hmm. So, but I have made around 15 to 20 video so that, you know, I have a good stock. Right. So you're teaching, um, users how to use, utilize, uh, Excel and get more more comfortable utilizing the, the platform? Yeah, basically, uh, you know, I am a finance guy, so I am uh, very good in, uh, in Excel. Mm -hmm. So I want to teach Excel as well as English. English is because, you know, I will, I will learn while teaching. So right. it is better, you know, when you teach someone, you know, you prepare for that. Right. So, you know, it's a win-win situation for both means, means to me and to my, you know, audience. Right. So you're an Excel power user. That's what we call it in the US. Yes, yes, yes. Good. My That's great. Excel. I've always why well, I did take a an Excel course years and years ago how to use macros and things like that. And it's yeah, yeah if you don't continue it's like a language. If you don't continue to use it, right. you forget it. Use right. it or lose it. That's basically what it is. Right, right. But the thing is that you know in current scenario if you want to do something in corporate sector, then two things are very important. One is Microsoft Excel and oh, second yeah. is English. Because, yeah. you know, doesn't matter you belongs to which, you know, category, which what is means. I want to say that what is your job profile? You mm -hmm. are, uh, uh, you can be, a, you know, creative person, you can right. be IT person, you can be HR person. But, you know, Microsoft Excel is, you know, compulsory everywhere because <laughs> Uh, you have to work on that right so every person you know needs microsoft excel for making uh, ppt for making graphs for making right. chart whatever right. and as you grow as you know you start growing in your organization you i think you must be a perfect or uh, you must be a master in excel because mm -hmm. every time you have uh, to uh, prepare a ppt or a chart or some mm -hmm. graph you know some graph to show to management right so that's why i think these two things are you know most important in current scenario right now in your work life do you utilize powerpoint at all for your business yes we uh, work on powerpoint because all the presentations are prepared on you know powerpoint mm -hmm. so that's also interesting okay so microsoft right. Microsoft Office means MS, uh, um, uh, sorry, Microsoft Office means Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and right. Microsoft Word document. Right. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, the uh, Microsoft Teams is actually exploded in the United States as a collaboration tool. I mean, that's what we utilized most of last year when we were working remote, and I really like the their ability to collaborate. Um, with different users and break out into rooms. I like that a lot. So interesting. Okay. Um, so you're building yes. your subscribers with your YouTube channel, I bet. You're getting yeah, I am building I am gradually, gradually I am building, you know, initially the sub uh, there is there are not uh, means the subscriber is not as much, but you know, gradually when you start working and you know people find your uh, content very good and they start, you know, uh, following mm -hmm. you. Right, that's excellent. So the main the main thing is that 
um, you know kind of content which you give to your audience right interesting okay um and so what what exactly do you do in your job though um are you are you a you're a finance consultant what do no. you do for your company so your basically company? basically you know i uh, prepare the uh, our financial statements profit okay. and loss balance sheet and uh, you know uh, give you know presentation to management that how much is the profit how how right. much are the expenses what is the expenses how to manage them how to process them and to you know find out the variances and all that okay interesting so you're like the numbers guy right and right. what so, in, in what industry do you work in what sector publishing so basically we publish the books oh okay especially, yeah especially in america and uk uh, literature books or business books or what kind of books? Uh, reference books. Okay. And, yes. Interesting. Okay. And how long have you been working in this field? I think from 15 years. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I have seen your profile and you know, uh, you have also worked a lot in IT sector and all that. Yes. So that's why I liked your profile. Yes. And, it was uh, in the i found it very you know very good very mm -hmm. good profile thank so. you yes i was in um the boston market that's where i live for, currently i'm in the process of relocating to italy but um for right now i'm in boston and i work with it professionals from new students on up to seasoned more seasoned um senior professionals okay. helping them find opportunities and also working with companies to help them find the right talent whether okay. it's local international regional so anything within it from the for you know help desk on up and okay. it was a, a very rewarding career it was great to help people get a start um you know especially because they work so hard to get there you know going to school and training and boot camps and things like that so it's nice to see people able to um you know get a little start and then take off in their career okay so it's great yes you have means you have a different you know experience in different industries so yes. that's great that's great i'm not i'm not a developer i am not an it whiz i uh um, okay not trained in that but i understand some of the i can communicate and understand the concepts and um, i understand what um hiring managers look for so that's probably okay. what the value that i add um is okay um knowing the soft skills and the um, hard skills of what um, hiring okay. managers look for and i have also seen that you are a recruiter right i, wa I was that was my job when okay. i was you working were. yep okay you were mm -hmm. okay so uh, what quality you saw in the uh, person when you you know call him for the interview or her for interview qualities uh, first of all is that yes. they what are is what, is, what is your first preference um i like immediately i like to get on a call it used to be that we'd like to meet in person but the world has changed so now we do everything over video um, and right. connecting with that person because I want them to see that I'm a real person. I'm not just a voice on the phone. I'm actually want to help them if I can. I want to see how sincere they are and are they truly invested in working together um, to, you know, in, in improve their career. So getting, you know, getting to know each other is usually an intro interview for me where I can sort of understand, you know, some of the soft skills that they might offer. They're, um, review their skill set their education things like that and then we move on to maybe a second and third um it, you know it's a it's a collaboration so this could take several weeks or months before we actually um get them that placement 